and this one's going to take some major repair. I got some boards that got to be replaced. But this is one Ryan made in grade school, so we're going to keep it going. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Going to repair the birdhouse today. This one uh, was something that Ryan made when he was in grade school. Has a lot of sentimental value for me. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's got a couple of boards that are pretty badly damaged. Looks like the weather got into the top one here. And this one has had uh, things eating on it. So I'm going to replace these two boards. And to do that, I'm going to first cut one down and then get them set up and uh, nail them back on. I went over to my wood storage area and I happen to have a board that's just the right width. Always want to have a place where you keep the pieces that are not bad enough to throw away but not good enough to really make anything fancy out of. This is just some old shelving boards. So I'm going to measure this up and then cut the boards out of this. It won't take long to nail it together. And it won't take long to get it apart either. That birdhouse has had a, a rough life. So I need one board seven and a half inches long and another one 14 and 7 eighths. I'm going to knock the edges off the boards. This little Stanley block plane does a nice job of it.
really kind of surprised that the rest of the boards didn't succumb to the bugs too. Not that I'm unhappy that they didn't. From this angle, you can see that uh, the little hatchlings in there like chewing on the wood, and it could have been mice. They're not above climbing up and getting inside of a birdhouse. I'm going to assemble this birdhouse with screws. I think I got a lot better chance holding it together with a screw than I do with some nails. Although the nails held it for a number of years. I'm now working with wood that's a little bit softer than what it was when it was first made. Should hold things together a little bit better.
I'm trying to line up the pivot pin on the door that's on this side so that the door will open for clean out. Something you have to do every spring. It was what I was doing when I noticed that this one was too far gone to be just cleaned out. I think that's going to work. I'm lining this up so I've got three screws into the top. And I'm going to set the top with a little bit of an angle on it. When it was originally built, the top of the building, the top of the birdhouse was flat. It set Just like that. And I think that let the water build up on the top of the roof. So I'm going to give it just a bit of an angle. Not much. Just a few degrees so that the water runs off.
And I can only put two screws in this front because there's a big hole in the middle and I don't want to split it any further than what it is. Now we have a birdhouse ready for painting. And I think it'll go another few years, as long as I keep track of it and take care of it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. Comments are always appreciated. If I've done it right, tell your friends. If I've done it wrong, share the joke. If you'd like to continue, over here is my latest upload. And over here is a video that YouTube has picked out especially for you. If you want to click on this button up here, that'll subscribe you to the channel. And please, don't forget to click the like button.